Hawks in all yellow today. That's yellow shirts, yellow shorts with a blue trim and yellow socks. Weymouth in their traditional claret and blue. And they're looking to get forward quickly here. The Terrors straight from kickoff, striding through midfield. Billy Clifford's been fouled after pinching it back for Haven and Waterlooville. So that will be an early free kick to the Hawks midway inside their own half. Here's Billy Clifford shy at the halfway line. Keep the ball is the chant from the half, from the dugout as Billy Clifford finds James Roberts with an inch perfect switch to the left. Roberts just cutting inside of that right boot. Space to shoot, but that's quickly closed down by Cameron Murray, who toes that ball off the feet of James Roberts and out behind Hawks throw left hand side. Billy Clifford's turned his man. He's got a cut in field. Past one challenge. Brought to the turf. Referee says that was a fair tackle, but is going to blow up for the second one on Oscar Goburn from a long way in the throw. Out to Blair, into Rose, pocket of space, edge of the area. Rose on his right boot, he's going to cross it across the six yard box. Osler puts it behind, corner kick, Terra's coming up from the right hand side. Adam. Long by the chat function in Mixer app. We'll hold those messages until after this. Weymouth corner kick from the right through O'Connell towards the back post. Pryor heads away, headed back into the area, tries to flick towards goal, comes off the crossbar. McCarthy messes up his clearance. Nemhard has to scamper it away and that was a real chance for the Terrors. Another cross comes in from that left wing into a good area headed down and past the post from Matsuzaka. Thrown down the line by Weymouth given straight back to Havant and Waterloo. Jarosh Nemhard has it under pressure has to quickly volley it over the head of the on-rushing Blair where Billy Clifford can help it on once more but Weymouth have it back up high with O'Connell rolled out to the left hand side breaking in to the penalty area and forcing a shot off the crossbar again drops to Rose in the six yard box and eventually cleared away by Joe Osler Clifford has to step away from pressure and go back towards his own goal. Jarash Nemhard back up to Billy Clifford out on the right hand side. Thread a ball forward, looking for Gio Crutch though. In behind the terrace back line, he's looped over Sanford towards goal and scampered away by Carlisle before it crosses the line. Billy Clifford thinking about shot from range, tries one, Sanford parries, only as far as Roberts. Roberts saved again by Sanford, but he shouldn't really have given the goalkeeper a chance. Offside flag up anyway. How close could the Hawks have got to that Weymouth goal if Roberts had taken a touch outside his man rather than inside where there was help with the Weymouth defenders. In swinging corner kick for the Terrors, near post delivery, headed away by McCarthy, flicked back towards Ross Warner's goal and drops just over that goal. It wasn't an attempted shot by Carlisle, the centre back. He was just trying to help it back in the area but almost looped it over Ross Warner and in to the back of the net with Matsuzaka out to left back Kiprianu chipped forward cleverly to Rose Rose forward to O'Connell it's brilliant football from the Terrors O'Connell bearing down on goal Blair waiting deflected behind by Josh Pasty who tracks his man every step of the way corner kick Weymouth coming up number for Weymouth is next to impossible it's a dark claret shirt with a really pale faintly outlined blue number corner kick comes from Weymouth towards the edge of the air and volleyed over by Rose that Perhaps should have been closer to Ross Warner's goal than it was. Head and hands and warm applause from the Weymouth fans. But I think Rose would want that one back in a heartbeat, the forward, if he can have it again, because he was found unmarked from 14 yards. Back out to Roberts. Into Oscar Goban. Space in the middle of the midfield. Newton to Gio Critchlow, the left winger. He's going to try curl one into Danny Wright. It's a good looking ball. It's headed towards Sanford's goal, but not by Danny Wright. It was off the head of Carlisle, the centre back inadvertently diverting it towards his own goal, and Sanford had to be smart. Hawks did the double over Weymouth that year, but it was the Terrors that got promoted, not the Hawks, beating Dartford on penalties in the final after Haven and Waterlooville exited in the semis to the darts. Here's Weymouth on the edge of the 18 yard box, trying to force a shot towards Ross Warner's goal and then more of a tackle than anything flashes over Ross Warner's bar. Out to the left wing from Weymouth. Rolled along the edge of the box, kick Priyanu, 20 yards from goal, just tries to scoop it back into play. Taken down with a clever touch and lobbed towards the back post. Warner able to come and claim above the head of the Weymouth Ford that was trying to get on the end of it. And the Hawks will come forward quickly with Mo Fowle. He's run into trouble and run into the right back on that side. It was actually O'Connell back covering. Bearwish looking for a cross towards Gifford, headed forward and headed onto the roof of Ross Warner's net. Weymouth will perhaps feel a little bit hard done by that it is. Driving on the left-hand side is Gifford for the Terrors towards the byline. Standing up Nemhard, rolled back into the area and hit first time and hit horrendously, hit awfully, hit woefully. Pick your adjective, Adam, by the man <laughs> running into the box, which I think was nippered, just screwed off his foot. 
Kipriyanu, but does provide a nice backdrop as Roberts has picked out right of centre. Kipriyanu ahead of him to make a starting tackle out, only as far as Clifford. Rollins, Roberts in the area, driven shot, off his laces, over the bar, and out behind for a Ryan Sanford goal kick. Osler heads away, up to Kalinowskis. McCarthy picks up the loose ball and goes home to Warner. Warner drives on into the tunnel. James Roberts on side. Flag stays down. One on one with Sanford. Can he finish? Rolled into the back of the net against the run of play. But the Hawks fans won't care. Roberts with his fifth of the season. Sliding under Ryan Sanford and into the bottom corner. And Ross Warner with a beautiful assist of all people. Of Bearwish. Hawks have it on the left wing. Kalinowskis cutting inside. Tugged back by Teddy Howe, Hawks free kick. About 15 yards from the left corner of the Weymouth penalty area. Danny Wright, Mo Fowl, Jake McCarthy, Joe Ash Nemhard and Joe Osler, the targets in the penalty area. Clifford just to loft one in behind the Weymouth back line. Towards Danny Wright, his head is down and his head is in. And the Hawks might be running away with a 2-0 victory in Weymouth. For large parts of the game, they've had to hold out, but Danny Wright has just nodded the ball down into the turf and it's bounced up into Ryan Sanford's goal. And it's the Hawks fans spilling out over the advertising hoardings to greet the Hawks players because it's the Hawks that are 2 0 up in Dorset. Free kick Weymouth, 12 yards from the Hawks penalty area, right of centre after a foul in the middle from Hamilton Moore's Lugo. Driven towards Ross Warner's goal. Warner comes out and punches, perhaps didn't need to, but it's got the necessary perch on the ball to punch well clear and up almost to halfway where Weymouth will take the resulting throw from. Taken quickly, down towards the byline. Pasty stands up his man, wins the ball back from the Hawks, looks to clear upfield, does so successfully, but only finds Weymouth's number two who can stride forward through the middle. That was Nippard. Mo Fowl's pinched it off Howe, who's got himself in trouble a few times today. Can they punish him this time? Mo Fowl rolled across the area. James Roberts in the penalty area. Can he make it six for the season? Blocked. Perhaps the Hawks should have done better there with that three-on-two opportunity. Roberts' effort was blocked. O'Connell comes the other way. Ash driving at Nemhard. Across the near post it goes. Runs all the way to the back post and driven into the side netting by Gifford. That should really have been at least one back for Weymouth. But only finds the side netting. Well, over halfway it goes, looking for Danny Wright, who's made a huge impact, and that will be the full-time whistle. Haven and Waterlooville to Weymouth 